Hi everyone, it's Finks here and today I'm going to show you how to build this building here for your base in Grounded. Now I'm making use of the armoured raspberry juice box here and it's next to the pond biome but before I jump into showing you how to build it I'm just going to give you a little preview of the build itself. So it's built sort of on the side of the juice box and what I've done is basically make use of the juice box to sort of have it as like a back wall in this house which I thought was pretty cool because the building pieces themselves in this game are a little bit uninspiring in my opinion at the moment obviously the game is still in early release but I just thought it was a cool thing that I hadn't seen anyone do before I'm sure people have done it I just haven't seen it but yeah you've got a bunch of space in here I just had sort of a half-hearted attempt at interior design for this video and then this is this upstairs region where you can easily add a zip plane in here so that you can go over to the research base over there but it's right next to the oak lab which you can't see from here so i just tend to use that one but this is the structure hopefully you enjoy it if you did then leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this and also content like this on other games too and yeah enjoy the video so i decided to make this um base down here by the armed raspberry poncho uh, which is next to the pond biome here mainly just because i want to sort of utilize this artwork in the back here. I'm not entirely sure how I'm build, gonna build this shit, but we're gonna we're gonna just see what happens really. So I'm gonna start off by just sort of making a flat surface to work on. And that's gonna just be made by the scaffolding here. And the main point of this scaffolding is kind of just to make sure that the back nodes there are like inside this so that if you're gonna build anything on these back nodes then you can like create shelves and things and you know any walls that you place there aren't going to be visible so i'm going to build something that's like maybe four by five so maybe something like this and you don't need to put a scaffolding under every single one obviously that's pretty good there and and all I'm going to do is fill this in with the stem floors. Once it's done, it's going to look like this. And then we can obviously start to build up the way. So I'm going to grab these stem walls. And I think I want the entrance to be on this side of the building. So like facing out that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave space for the door there. And this little area, I'm going to use the door frame just so to sort of create like an open more open area and we'll put out like a little sort of balcony thing on the other side there it's going to be a window there and then we're just going to finish this off with a wall and then a window in this one here that's the window this one's going to be another window and this one at the front here can be the door and we want it to sort of open in towards the juice box here so we need to hinge on that side just there now the next thing that i think impo is important is to create like the second floor here and if you're making it too high basically the area in which you place the stair so for example this way here if you're making them too high it does like a full rotation so you're going to be coming out at this angle as well so i think something like that is probably pretty much as good as what we're going to hope for here there we go and then you have this sort of spiral staircase here now i'm going to build the roof sort of in the way already um, which does kind of cover off some of this pattern in the back but i think honestly i don't really need that big of a house if you want to make it a little bit bigger you can just extend these walls one up and then start building the roof i think on this game there's not actually that many things you need to place inside your house at this moment so I'm just gonna basically just keep it keep all my boats relatively small also resources if you're not playing on creative can be quite difficult to come across or at least timely and basically when you're doing the roof just make sure that all the nodes are connecting into their proper places because it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier further down the line so all we need to do now is just create that little area for the upper floor And then I'm going to grab my stem wall here, facing out the way, place it in this side and this side. And then I'm kind of, I think this half stem wall is actually pretty nice in terms of like a little gated fence. And then all we're going to do here is 
add on the roof. Again, starting with just the standard clover roof. Make sure it connects onto the wall properly. And then for the corner ones here, we're going to be using the roof squared corner, and that's the same for the um, bits just downstairs as well. So when you're done with that bit, it's going to look like this, and honestly, it's up to you what you want to do with this section. I think, personally, I'm going to grab this little clove peaked roof. Um, actually, am I going to do that? Because that doesn't actually look that nice. I might honestly just tie it off with the flat roof there. I think that looks a little bit better. So that's what the roof looks like when it's done and you've got this sort of open section up here and that basically only leaves just sort of designing the balcony area down here. In terms of like making it look somewhat realistic, what I might go for here is these palisades here. Place them along the bottom of the structure and again on the back side. Once you've added in these palisades on the bottom, we're just gonna finish off with this little balcony area around the outside. So just grab your stem floors and start to make your way around. I don't think it needs to be like all the way. I think that's probably enough. You might even want to take this last piece here and grab the triangle stem floor. What I like to do for the balcony area, you can use the half stem walls. I think they do look good as well, but I found these acorn fences to be probably some of my favorite. And obviously with the location of this, there's a lot of acorns nearby, so it doesn't hurt you. And then we can just separate the sort of inside of the house and the outside with this little stem half wall here. And then all I'm going to do is grab these fences again. This time it's going to be the sprig fence. And sort of make this entrance look somewhat decent. And this is saying it's unsupported for the particular location that I've gone for. So all I'm going to do here is lock in the scaffold underneath here. I'm going to remove this one again because I don't need it. But that's basically why it's not saying it's unsupported. It just needs a scaffold underneath there or a wall or something like that. And then something I only recently realized is these sprig railings for on the side of your stairs, which I don't know, I think they make it look like a million times better, to be honest. Under here, we don't really have anything supporting it. I'm going to go for the these pillars, little stem pillar there. Maybe on the far side here, because it's just reaching out a little bit. We're just going to grab the... That's actually a triangle. So we're going to grab a triangle one and lock that in underneath. Like I said, you don't need to add these in. It will hold up without it, but I think it just adds to the sort of realism of the structure. So there we have it. This is the interior. You have plenty of space for whatever you need. I'm going to just run through like a couple of little bits of interior stuff that I typically do in my buildings. So I like to add in the workshop and smithing station. There we go. Here we can place like the bed that we're going to be using. And then something I also only realized recently is how nice the picture frames are in this game. So if you haven't used these yet, it's these little sign frames. You can unlock more from Borgil, but I just think they actually look really cool. Especially with the backdrop in this structure with the sort of colours on the wall. Some of the colours you can get in this one and these uh, sign frames as well are just pretty nice. So for example, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, these two are meant to go together, but I think like on side of windows, they look pretty nice. And yeah, I think it just looks really cool with this sort of back, uh, back wall here. One thing you can do here is actually lock this fence onto the back nodes of this ground piece. And what that's going to allow you to do is grab this little grass half floor and sort of create this little shelf here. You can just grab these little storage chests and if you're careful enough, you'll just be able to place it in like so. Um, of course, you could do that again on the top. I just like to do the one. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of up to you the way that you want to design this inside. Pop a little grass table there and what you'll start to notice, locations are obstructed a lot from like this grass table and then you can't place a chair next to it. I just like to grab these little storage baskets. They kind of just look like little stools. One there. One there. So yeah, I'm not going to go through every single piece of the interior design. This is what I've ended up with in the end. This is still a work in progress, but you can get a kind of good idea of what I've done. And if you like it, you can just copy it. It doesn't take 
that much brain power. I've added in a couple of lights around here and just added in one of my cooking pits on the veranda there. And then yeah, just added a, a couch and things up here. So yeah, hopefully you like this video. If you do, please do leave the video a like and consider